It's January 22nd, I'm Jonah Hockhauser, and this is Geek It, your daily dose of tech news headlines. Today we're looking at GM's driverless car, a new iPhone, and more. Let's do it. Geek It. The future is nigh. Cruise, a division of GM, has shown off its origin self-driving car. What makes this one different is that it doesn't come with a steering wheel or pedal. Along with GM, Honda has also invested $2.75 billion to give crews a valuation of $19 billion. Actual specs and details on the car are scarce, including whether as they get older, will they move to Florida, leave their turn signal on, and drive a whole lot slower. Geek it. And what is the lowest tech gadget we have ever spoken about here on Geek it? Google has unveiled its envelope, a PDF that you print out on a regular A4 piece of paper at home. What makes it a gadget? Well, when combined with the Envelope app and some glue, that piece of paper becomes a case for your phone that stops you from doing anything besides making phone calls. Yes, we're at the point in humanity where we're refolding pieces of paper, putting our $1,000 smartphones into them, and applying glue just to stop our faces from being glued to the screen. Why the self-control here to stop yourself from just unfolding the phone is different than the self-control to just not use your phone regularly is beyond me. Geek it. According to a new report by Bloomberg, Apple might be launching a low-cost iPhone very soon. After the successes of the iPhone SE, the Pixel 3a, and Motorola's G-Series, the low-cost smartphone market is an attractive one. The report claims the new phone will look like the iPhone 8, will have a 4.7-inch screen, and will be powered by Apple's A13 chip. No reports yet on whether the phone will have its own folded paper case. That wraps up today's edition of Geek It. Until tomorrow, go check us out on Twitter at geek underscore it underscore news. See ya.